folks. Welcome back to Ostrov. Hello, chickens. <laughs> yeah, life in life in our town. Um, if you notice up there, I've got a huge wall of projects going on, and really what I've done is is I've decided to clear some pathways. So the only way I know to really take trees down is to stick a bench in front of it. <laughs> Although, I see there isn't one right there. Why is there not a bench right there? There's one right there. And probably one right there. Yeah, there's there's that many of them. So, our loggers have got something to do. And let's see. What else is going on? I have told them to tear this one down. Well, I can't get my volume right. Either too loud or not loud enough. I'm going to tear this one down. We're using this one now. It's a little more central. And I've told them to take this out and put another one in right there. So that's these two right there. And we'll pop another one in once all these benches are gone. Or, well, installed. Once the trees are gone, then I'll delete all the benches. But I... There were lots of suggestions that came in on where to put orchards, where to put new farms. And... Well, everyone has an opinion, so I one that came up was, I think if I read it right, it was kind of down here at this end. You've got all these folks available to man it. Uh, even these ladies here could be taken off their task for a month and harvest the orchards, and that would work. Um, problem with that, though, is that it's that much further from here to get put away. Is that too far away? will this work or we, will we then have to try to get it into here and then from here get it up into here so that it can be sent into here yeah i think if i put the cherries and the apricots right in here small little orchards really just to give some variety that's all it's the stuff rots pretty fast so we don't need large quantities uh two small ones would be enough to supply this and supply this and probably still lose some of it to rot. So I think that is the best plan for those. Apples can be sold. And I would like to see those somewhere near the uh, the traders. Because uh, I think there is someone from each. The, the, the river trader and the land trader that will buy apples. So And they work really good on a slope. And we've seen that very little will build right in here. The slope is quite intense once we get up in here it does go uphill pretty quick so i think a couple of apple orchards right in here kind of shaped along the shoreline and then they could form the top of this road that i wanted to, to create in here so we can be straight up here and curve down below and and fill in that space kind of nicely so that's the plan for the orchards um as far as farms go i don't know I haven't finished thinking that one through, but in regard to working with lime and stone and and uh, quick lime and all of that, I was trying to figure out how to get it to fit somewhere right in here last time. No, not last time. The the episode I didn't record. Yeah, I started to record this one last night and spent about ten minutes sitting here talking and realized that. I wasn't having fun anymore. I'm getting a little burnt out playing the same game 20 days in a row kind of a thing. So I took a night off and I'm going to do that more often now that we're getting so deep into this series that, you know, maybe five episodes a week out of the seven days and take a day off here and there to keep it fun and, and fresh. Otherwise, it becomes a job. But could not find a place in here that would work, and I don't want to crowd this in anymore. But we could do a lot right here. So I think the stone works, the lime kiln, and the whatever the other one is, the lime works, whatever the, the buildings are called, can all go right in here and still be close enough to housing here and maybe even some of the housing right through here as far as being able to hire people. We could still put in another row of houses here, the back sides of these. So there's lots of potentials. I didn't want to lay that all out 
because I'd already laid all of this out and now I can't even see them. So we will let them go and do their thing. I can speed this up again. There's nobody coming to trade with us. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, Marifa, let's let's play with you. You have things to sell us. We will always take all of your wheat. Uh, Money-wise, we're in the 800s. Okay, so deal. Take your wheat. And honey, I think... Actually, we are out. The idea came in... See, I'm running on one, yeah. Um, the idea came in to not store foods and or goods in the trader anymore. Which it, it has been the problem, like salt. All the salt's coming down here and is not being available for processing up through here in the tannery and what have you. Or, you know, folks are having a hard time getting a hold of it. If we stored it all in a warehouse next to the trader, then the town can still grab from it and it will register in the Riffa. Uh, salt? Yeah. It'll register in the town storage. I'll know what is available, and I can say, okay, out of that 5,000, let's sell 4,000. And by the time they get here, hopefully, the cart shed will be able to make the delivery. Yeah, maybe we'll play with that idea. But for now, um, this one has 1,600 salt to sell to them, but I was looking at honey. There is basically no honey in town right now. Now, we just went through winter. The bees probably are only just now beginning to produce, but it is a staple that the town depends on to maintain food variety, so I think we can go ahead and tell them to bring us a little bit. So, honey, let's bring in 200 until the... Uh, the town's supplies can start uh, restocking. Uh, textile broadcloth. Now, I brought in broadcloth last time. Doesn't say what town storage is, so it doesn't work that way. It should all be sitting up in here. And we have 230. Okay. And there's 30 right there, so we have 200. Alrighty. Um... Let's bring in 100 more, then we'll bring in 300 sheepskin next time. And that should even us out again. Okay, roadmap, broadcloth, and 100 more. So what is... That is 20. That's fine. Deal. So that's coming in. Warm clothes. We don't need any more horses. We don't need live chickens. We've kind of hit all of that hemp. We're not bringing in now. So sell sunflower, lime, dried fish. In town is none. Um... Sunflower oil. There's 500 sitting here. All right, so send that one away. And buckwheat flour, 150 and nothing in town. So that's where we start to think about what to do. But we do have wheat coming in. So 150. That will be replaced almost immediately. All right. Chicken eggs, not enough to think about. And scroll you down. We'll do the 1700 that's in here and sell you. And I may have one or two slots left. Anything else? Iron, metal parts, flax. All right, we'll call that one done and Marifa's finished. Now, let's think about that plan X. None of you, none of you. Charcoal, I'll continue to do that one. We're doing pretty well at maintaining now. So charcoal will do. So no more of the salt. And I gotta do the same thing there. Sunflower oil could kinda be the same thing. So let's set this up. Salt of 5,000. Charcoal of zero. And bricks. <sighs> let's zero that one out. Okay, so down here is going to be Sunflower oil. Is that a thing in here? Sunflower is, but not the oil. Okay, so I can't store that down here. Um, it'd have to be over here. And that's not too far away. Okay, so we can put like a thousand in here instead. Okay. Flower, make you a thousand as well. Come on, go to the end. There we go. Dried fish. 
Yeah, we'll store it all in here. And we'll pull it from here as we need to. That way we have an accounting of what the town has. And we're not robbing the town blind of everything. So salt is going to be down here. Huh. Let's think about that. It needs to be near the trader. But it could be in both places. I just don't know which one they're going to draw from. I would like to say the closest one, but I don't know that for certain. Okay, so I think that's all that I've interfered with at the moment. Fish, um, we'll make you a 100. And click. All right. You are going to have no more salt and no more flour either. So when we need it, we will quickly line item it and bring it down. I think we can kind of pull that off. I just have to remember to do it. So we'll play with this system, see what we can or cannot do here. We still have 10,000 charcoal that we don't need. Turns out that none of the river uh, towns will take charcoal. So that hopefully will work its way back into the system one of these days. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll have 5,000 salt down here. We'll have 500 in here. Hopefully it kind of lands in both places so these guys can reach it a little easier than coming all the way down here to get it. All right, so one last glance through here. Now, did I just sell something that I just took out of the trader? So leaving is sunflower oil, flour. Okay, pause. And salt. So I need those back. So, yeah. So, I, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out just how to do this. <laughs> Yeah. Um, one more time. Salt, 170. Flour. No, there we are. Uh, flour, 150. And salt, 1700. Let's start with that. Flour. Yeah, I can see this being a little bit uh, tedious. Something that I would do for myself playing on my own, but I don't know it's going to work well in within a series okay you flower is that gone like that one carter just wiped me out didn't he <laughs> salt yes no 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 it was 1700 salt and 150 uh 150 flower Okay, that's a little better, and the salt's mostly still here. All right, so world map one more time, 150, 1700. And what else did I sell? Sunflower oil, 500. Okay. Sunflower oil, 500, is still here. All right, so and then I guess I would make that a temporary. Okay. We'll play with this, see what we can do. So your temporaries... And that covers everything that we've just sold. So I think we're okay there. Okay. Get you going again. Um, just about finished with the last house. And then we're going to tear these th things down. We can start setting new blueprints. Otherwise, tree-wise, you guys should have a complement of five. You don't. Where are we? We're in May. Okay. January, February. Something messed up here. On season, it's going to go back to five. Off season, it's going to go back to three. And off season is August and March. Okay. Do I apply that to all? No. Once I start working here and or here and or here, then I'll rethink that. Okay. So that gets the park benches working on. All right. Constructed, completed, park bench. Okay, we took that tree down. All right, so they're doing their thing. And yeah, it was noticed, and I noticed too, that time we got this all done, there are no fallow fields. <laughs> These guys were all in their rotation from the year before, whereas this one was coming into the rotation because we just set it up. And I thought they had all rolled so that this was now syncing with those, but something's out of sync. So, I think this was supposed to be, yeah, that's next year, that's the year after, that's the year after, this is the one that should have been fallow right now. 
So I need to somehow, this one should have been right there. So I gotta pull all that out of sync and see what we can do. Uh, which means it may have to be followed two years in a row to, to get back into, into sync. Wow, we're gonna get spammed with park benches. We are. We'll let 10 or 15 of those go through and clean this up, and then I'll go find them all and delete them. <laughs> Until then, carts aren't gonna be rolling through our, our town very well. Okay, so yeah, so many things in my mind, and I just, I guess I just need to kind of wander through and check all the buildings, see what we're doing. Plenty of salt, three people in, and a laborer probably bringing salt or hauling away. Uh, oh, that's some, that's a boat coming in, bringing in twenty, and one of these guys just got some batches going. And the laborer was probably bringing more salt down or something. You guys, three people in. No batches going. Uh, 50 fish are reserved because I changed that. So someone's bringing some in. So, yeah, cart guys. Got openings now. Need to... We just opened up the... The... Um, uh, sawmill too. So that's competing labor. Probably could pull a couple of these guys out. Taking a rest. And taking a rest. So that'll send a couple more guys down here. So essentially the cart shed will work as the same thing as using laborers. They're just going to do it in a much higher quantity. And you're now back up to 100%. So what do you guys set the the bar at? I'm going to go to 50% until I hear otherwise. Otherwise they won't do anything till they have a very big load coming in and there may be something like fish that never gets the big load or salt never goes beyond a, a hundred and yet here's 300 for the first time i've seen more than a hundred so i guess everything everything's satisfied because we're no longer trying to put thousands into each of the the uh 1700 okay pause 120 we need we need uh, 30 more flour coming in quickly. You're bringing wheat. So 30 more flour. In fact, you're probably all here at the same time because I... No, I, I wasn't on pause. Okay. What's it going to take to get 30 more flour down here? Flour. There's none there. I guess it got moved. Hmm. Okay. So more in the process. Somebody ate some flour. Yeah, so somebody's not going to have a complete load and we're going to get an angry message here. I think that's a thing. You are almost done, maybe. Maybe we can call for it. But you, wagon, you dropped off. All right, so you are bringing the honey. Then you are probably coming to buy the flower and or you. Okay, but see how they're moving through the woods. And then they come out. This is the, when they leave, when they when they move in, they take a different path. <clears throat> so I'm thinking a nice straight road out here with our apple orchards, and then it'll bank off and head this way, and then we'll have our market, and then start whatever the neighborhood's going to be over here when we get to this area. Okay. Um, so I haven't really been paying attention, but I see the clay pit is gone. And a bunch of these are gone, okay? Which means this guy is now gone too. Good. All right, so you guys are all moving in. Do we have our 150 yet? We don't, and we're not even calling for it. We are in trouble. It's you, right? Okay, and you have left with the sunflower oil. You are waiting. You have left with 120 flour. So they're willing to do a smaller load. I thought if they didn't hit the 150, they would have cussed us out and and, and said they'd never return. <laughs> huh. Okay, well, we did have something to sell them. But we now are calling for an extra 30 that we don't need. Okay, so another bench is done. Let's spend a minute searching for benches. Where are you guys all at? So there's a bunch heading down into here. I'm just going to delete them all, and then we'll put benches back in properly later. But I wanted to get our pathways all cleared so we can see what these pathways are click there we are and you dude there <laughs> 
Okay, no more benches. You probably need to leave too, don't you? I think you kind of do. So this is the way that I have found to get rid of trees when your loggers are too busy and too stacked up with logs to even consider cutting down one of those red X's. And there were a few logs, a few trees in here. Yeah, they'll come down eventually. I know there were quite a few right over here. Sorry if I just got you nauseous. But yeah, trees in this area that this guy too. And this tree's got to go. And yeah, so they're kind of scattered around. All right, so future buildings and future plans. I want a orchard somewhere in here for cherries. Exactly how, where are the pathways going to be? How does that work? So spin you around. Let's have you bench completed. Aim upward and downward. Drop off here, drop off down there. Pathway goes in between the two. Okay, so let's drop you in there. Move you back like so. There. Here. Don't need to be very big for these. So a nice path there. Nice path there. Um, that's probably getting close to enough in regard to what cherries and apricots can be used without. So if you touched, yeah. Any reason to leave a space behind here? Don't think so. They can walk in and around. So I think that can be tight. This can follow the back of this building. And the other one, hmm. If I want to put one in here, I'm thinking the pathway travels kind of through. And then travels through here. So we come down, we branch over, up, and then down through. Now I think it just comes down, and then it goes through. Okay, so this can go up a little bit more. Like so, like so. And what we get out of that, we get out of that. All right, you are going to be, well, we'll, we'll guess cherries. Enter. And anything else going on? Marifa's done. Nothing else crazy out there. Let's grab another one. You're going to be apricots and or cherries, depending on what I remember next episode when this finally happens. And exactly how? I think you will parallel like this and like this. So similar pathing. Right there, right there. This way <clears throat> could be like this and like this. Doesn't have to be a square. <clears throat> hmm. How does this affect future use? Path in between? Good. Means you're over here. And space is occupied. We gotta go up a touch. Because of right there. Okay. So you're up in there. You're over there if we're gonna make you straight. Pathway comes down, cuts over, goes up, down, or just comes back into here and comes down. Uh, another bench completed. So really, where does this go? I don't know. Sure, we'll make you kind of funky. So you're going to come in here. Be nice to angle you with the hill. The hillside. So you're going to be right there. Alright, here's one funky orchard. Great. So you two are done. A lot more paths or uh, benches are out there. Um, orchards. 
you guys could start taking trees down. And we'll see if you'll actually do the job. There's three of you. So, taking a rest, working, and taking a rest. We'll check in on you here in a little bit. We've got two teams of two in here. Going to work, chopping a tree. So you guys are off to find another park bench. Great. And taking a rest and taking a rest. So out of five, only two managed to go to work. Okay. But they're bringing more logs in like crazy. So you two are in place. You're going to get done eventually. That is the charcoal pit. That's probably a lot of what this episode is going to be about. It's just laying out future plans. Let's do the two apple orchards right here. And this will be taken out, I'm guessing, by the other one. And we're going to spin you around. And you are going to form a road up here. That is a big archway. Yeah, so hard to tell. All right, click out. This archway right here. And who are you? You are Balaklia. All right, slow down. Let's just deal with you and get this done. And test the new theory. So, world map. Balaklia. And another bench is done. All right, cows, pigs. Cows. I don't think there's any reason why we need to be buying any more cows. I think we're fine now. Um, iron. I'm pretty sure we're fine on iron. I think we got 500 last episode. Um... Although I did quite a bit in those first 10 minutes when I stopped recording the other night. Iron, where are you? There you are. Two. So that was when I ordered the 500. And then I, d I deleted the episode. Okay. So, 500 iron. World map. Iron. Grab you. And we are sitting at 1,000 gold up there. Deal. So, anything else to purchase? Lime... What is in the system? Is there lime sitting in here? No. So, lime... There's 300 somewhere. Now, lime was used over here. There's 200 sitting here. I don't know where else it's going to be used. That's the first place that I've noticed that's calling for it. Bricks are not. And by the way, the bricks are doing great. I've got a lot stored in here right now. We do... So, until we need them, I think it's probably time to to start slowing down. Going to work. Let's slow this down a bit and take it down to one batch at a time. Okay. So, yeah. I don't... What's our storage like for the building? We're about there. Um, bricks. You're maxed out. You're not a storage. You're your warehouse. You're getting there. We're calling for... Well, we have 500 iron on its way in. Thatch, charcoal, and nails. Just kind of backup supplies. Where else can we put bricks in an existing place? I had them set to here, but it seemed like a long walk. Um, but that could work for now. Let's put 5,000 bricks down here just to give it a place to go. And... Well, they are starting to roll in even though there isn't a worker. Okay, we'll just leave that like that. The laborers and or the carters are doing their thing. Car shed is filled and carts are there. These guys are just about ready to break down. You are employed and you've got lots of parts and wood, so you'll take care of all that. And I did refill the cart sheds that I stole carts out of. Um, here, yeah. So that's all done. Um, Marifa, no, Balaklia. Okay, world map. And boom, 26 days left. What else do we need? Stone. We're not far from making our own stone. So I'm probably done buying that. Nails were fine. Charcoal's fine. Lime was the question mark. There's 300. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so flour in town is none. So skip that. And potatoes, dried fish in town. I'll leave that for the town for now. Sunflower oil. Um, why not? What's happening there? You guys are pretty much out of sunflower. That's what's happening there. Uh, we've got a crop of it coming in here. But that's not for a while. 
So we're at July, August. I'll leave you employed. But we're done selling it for a while. That was another bench. Okay, back over here. World map. Uh, Salo clothes we did have. 200. Let's make that go away. And deal. And textile leather to sell. No. Horse tack. Never did get back into working on that. We'll deal with that later. So we're done. All right. Okay, so I was talking about apples. Let's try it. There's our archway. I want a nice row that comes straight across. And then somewhere in here, zoom out a little bit, straight across and somewhere in here breaks down into the middle of this area. And then we can do something down here, something up in here, and a nice road through the middle of it. And then after they cut through the middle, they eventually make their way out over here and enter the map. Okay. So, and that'll it'll give these guys something, some more logs to cut down because, you know, they don't have enough logs to cut down. But I'll finally get rid of a lot of our red X's. In fact, let's just clean that up. Unmarked trees, that's not going to happen anymore. If I want to take those trees down, I'll just stick a park bench in there. <laughs> okay, apple orchards, you're here. You, how close? Now, a conversation came up about fishing docks not being too close together and there that is a thing now am i running kind of that is a thing now what back in alpha one when i first played this you could just spam them but now they will deplete the uh the the river around it within a certain range i don't know what the range is but if you were putting them into an area like this which is really thin i would think you'd want to space them out pretty good but we've got a nice big wide practically a lake over here so I don't see the two of these guys being too close. They're kind of sharing and working in each other's range. But I wouldn't put another one in till I got till probably out over here somewhere. So I'm thinking in here will be another fish dock and maybe the fulling mill somewhere in this area. I've never worked with that before. So it's either going to be here, which I think it's the case. I think it's, I think. This is foaling mill, which is has to do with wool. It's sheep and, it, and more farms. I think that's the answer, but I'm not sure yet. But I think industry here, probably more industry here or here. Houses here. And working first on this guy, eventually working on these guys and figuring out how we're going to... Oh, pause. How we're going to get to stone. Well, they will eventually work their way through and tap, 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 and then work their way all the way back. It's not going to be very efficient for a while, that's for sure. So we may end up buying stone if we have projects that need stone. Because it's going to be a very slow slog getting it from over there until we are starting to live over here. And then it's not so far away. But right now it's a long way away. So in that case... Well, I won't get stone yet, right? Oops. Pass over. Stone, there's still over a thousand. We'll just, we'll call that good for now. Okay, so I don't need to quickly jump into Balaklia and, and order stone. Um, some of our, of our, wait, Balaklia? Don't, no, it's, it's the other one that buys charcoal. You sell charcoal, don't you? Yeah. Okay, because I'd love to sell a bunch of charcoal. And love to actually get the charcoal moved out of here. I guess I could set up an order and make it happen, but it's not that critical. Okay, so in that case, what am I doing? I'm still doing apple orchards. Okay. <laughs> right there, and F1. And <clears throat> I want a little shoreline still available. So let's leave a nice little path over here. Yeah, I think so. There's no point digging in or building in the mud. Almost done with our benches. Cool. So you, like so, how close to here? That's what I was getting at. How close do I get to this guy? I'm not going to put any more buildings immediately near here. And if I don't leave too big of a gap, I'm thinking that the wagons won't try to force their way along the mud here. Make them work their way up and over or through the trader and build a road out there. Okay, so that's where you're going to go. Apples can be pretty sizable, though, as far as quantities. 
I mean, I could take it to its max if it wasn't going to get in the way of the road. So I could go wider. So we'll go to the full width. If I keep a nice... Okay, so how far does this go then? Too long there. All right. I think that works. You go where? Put you kind of near the entrance. And you might look better straight with the front fencing. Right there. Close enough. Enter. You're in place. Move you up in front. You are one last park bench, so we'll take care of you. And one more of these guys while I'm down here. So you, F1, <clears throat> attach you there. Bring you down as far as you're willing to go. Place is occupied. Got to figure out what that means. Um, right there. You're going to be there, and that is too long. This is too long. Okay. Yeah, I see. Um, and we just hit August, and we should have quite the the harvest going on. So let's pause and make sure this is happening in time. It should be. Um, we nobody really got going till right about there. So that's all been done in just that last little bit. We should be fine right here. Yeah. What does it mean, though? We did not fire these guys this time. We're going to leave the fish coming in. Okay. Um, I don't remember the what's happening. I, we didn't do this. We changed... Okay, let's find one. You. We, we're still stuck with July and March. I never f altered that. Okay. Let's do that for now. And was there another one like that? Uh, you are perishables. You are not P. Yeah, P's are not perishables. Don't know why that is. Um, so you were meant to be there. And it seems like there's one or two more up there I've got to deal with too. But I, I can do that between episodes. How are you doing? The smithy. I left one in and one in. And that worked. Okay. I think I left three in. And just one? No, nope, left all three in here. Are you guys actually doing anything? Uh, there's only two left, so it looks like you are. Uh, taking a rest, buying food, and taking a rest. But someone's been taking a couple trees down in here. I think it was four and four, if I remember right. So hopefully they're doing their job. Um, you guys should not be employed. How are the boats? Decent. And just about gone. Yeah, okay. Let's bring two people in and get some boats done. Otherwise, everything up in here, these all should be unemployed right now. You never got a system figured out. Um, and we're not tanning at the moment anyway, so let's just send you home and deal with that one later. Same with you. Okay. There should be somebody taking care of the cows, though. Kind of want to verify the system's working. I put two in there to make sure there's plenty of people to milk, not knowing how many it takes. We're at ten cows. Let's just leave one in there. We're still plenty of water, plenty of food. Okay. You, one person, plenty of water and food. One person, plenty of water and food. Okay, so the animals are fine, even during this. You were to stay in there all year long, and you've done it. You guys, I don't remember what I've got you set for. Um, yeah, you just, you're just you. <laughs> you're gone. You're down to one person. I think I've kind of worked my way through, though I had taken you off, but for some reason you're still there. Okay, good enough. Farm looks like what? Pretty good. We're still shy a few people. That's because they're working down here, I think. I guess what's going on. And you don't really need to be there. Well, we'll figure you guys out later. Yeah. Leave you there because October's coming and I'm not going to remember. Okay. Did I... I clicked away from that, didn't I? Okay. So you're... Yeah. Everything, the town's running fine without me. Okay, one more time. F1, what am I going to do here? If I want to maintain my road, I guess I start curving my road down. 
because I'd like to do this, but I cannot handle the length unless I come out like this. So too long is somewhere around there. Too long can go a little further that way. So I can go to like there. So that brings the road straight, curves it around, and kind of more naturally starts heading it into this direction. Okay. Now, am I messing up the reeds at all? It's going to leave some reeds. I don't really need it. She's grabbing reeds from here, and we're not going to get into this mess over here. We're going to leave the mud. So I don't think preserving the reeds is an issue. So I think we're okay. You rotate around something like so, and can go up near there. Yeah. Now that's a lot of apples. That's going to need a crew of probably three to, to harvest in time. So I have to keep that one in mind. May have to do something kind of like this. Intentionally fire quite a few for the month of July to make this happen. Yeah. But it's going to be a while before we're ready. All right. Set you. You're good. And you're in there. That's th That bridge over there is the one way over here. That's the least of our concerns. But these guys could be built somewhat soon. All right, so this is about the time I wonder, where am I? So 40 minutes in, and I am recording? Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> the heart didn't sink and stop beating when I realized it wasn't recording. Okay. So less people hired because less work to do. Though once this is done, those who are still here will come out and collect all the goods and this is the first time we've run all of these fields. You're field number five. You are buckwheat. Okay, so barley, buckwheat. Oh, we're already cycling into next year. So you're fallow. And then you'll be fallow the next year. So we finally have a fallow. And you are starting off at almost nothing. So 15, 37, 25. Try to remember that. Because once they clear this out, they're going to let the cattle in. And I'm curious to see if the month or two that they're in here, if we're still at 15. So remember 15. That was a zero. The plowing brought it up to 15 and even 15. So let's we'll see if it's 21 or some other number afterward. Then we'll know that the cattle did, in fact, add something to it. I'm pretty sure they do. I'd say they're in there. They're dropping manure and adding to the soil, but I've not witnessed it this series. So I don't want to declare that that's the truth without why are we getting nobody in here there is a manager right there is i haven't seen a river trader in a way too long okay marifa what are you all about now you still don't like charcoal um that was another park bench okay and we are just finishing up with august so no more broadcloth wheat sure we'll do that again just keep bringing it in and making flour out of it. And then selling that flour. But there's nothing in town. Why is there nothing in town? Let's. This is a great time to start detecting. Doing our detective work. You have been making it all along. It's not sitting here. I've asked it to go here. It's not sitting here. Are they buying it out of the stalls that fast? Or is there another place that is sucking up flour that I have forgotten about. Oh, I wasn't looking here. Okay, there's flour. So you're not grabbing it either. Where is all the flour that you've been making for the last two months? Here? There's no flour in these. There's no flour in these. You take flour? You do. Where's all the flour been? Huh. There's all the wheat. Is it not getting hauled? No, you only take 600 and you're basically there. It's just sitting here waiting. Huh. Okay. Um, is that a problem letting us sit here? We're going to start filling this place up. I have a lot of shoes down here. We asked for a thousand. There's fourteen hundred. <laughs> Are their shoes still in the system? 
people still able to buy them? Are shoes over here or just clothes? Just clothes. Okay, so shoes. There you are, and there's still plenty. Shoes being made. There's still plenty to sit in here. In fact, we're maxed out. Okay, we can't sell them fast enough. Marifa, you don't buy shoes, do you? Uh, world map. You do not buy shoes. No. Okay. So, what do you want from us so I can call you done? Sunflower oil, there's none. Flour, there's none. Uh, you don't buy salt. Oh, you do buy salt. And there is 5,000 in, in storage. Can I get it down here fast enough? So here's our test. Let's... Oh, you're only willing to take 2801. Okay, let's sell 2801. And right now, before I go any further, let's call for a temporary order of salt, temporary, 2801. Click. That fired off a laborer who's bringing 400. So how quickly will the cart shed get its orders? Or will it, is it still overwhelmed with supply for construction? So there's the question. Um, there's not a lot of construction going on and they haven't actually been, well, they did supply some. Let's, but I really want them to supply for construction. Have they been turned off? Is there any seasonal? There's no seasonal hiring here. So they've been here the whole time. Have they actually been doing anything? Cart shed. Okay, supplying resources. You are on your way back to some from somewhere. You're working. So you're on your way back from... Or you're just coming... No, you're just working. You're just working. What does that mean? Why are you triggered to here? You're right there. Now, what's with the orange line? A little confused here. The blue line seems to be the worker. So the orange line is what? Doesn't lead to where you live. Don't know. It has to do with uh, overlays no, not that one. Residents? Workers? Don't know. Anyway, buying food and going to work. So, will the salt get here in time? 600's here, another 400's coming. I guess we'll just find out. Marifa does take a long time to get here. That's this one right here. So, most likely we'll be okay. Now, Balaklia is going to be a little more challenging. They're pretty close. Okay. So, we got these two in. I've got another 10 minutes to steal here. Let's think about... Well, a lot of park benches to go and kill. Um, and I need to get you taken out. Oh, that will be these guys. And they've been working on all these. Then they're going to go to do that. Though, actually, this is right here. And why haven't you guys been doing it? Buying food, taking a rest, and taking a rest. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this whole episode, if it was them, they've taken out two trees. This has been waiting the whole time. And it's right next to them. It's right here. So, this is who should have been doing it the whole time. Yeah, I've never had confidence. They blew my confidence near the beginning of the series, and I've never really gained it back. <laughs> um, okay, over here. I want to put in the stone mining camp. And you can go in this orientation as far as working your way up into here. And we can be in the trees a little bit. This doesn't have to be built immediately question is where do I want the road I don't think I can rotate this way well I can if I'm up high I can't down here if I want the road to come up and shoot through like that closest I'm gonna get is there I 
think I'd rather do that. That way we could mount something onto the shore if we absolutely had to. Fishing or what, I don't know. Okay, so if we did this, I only need to take two trees down. Let's do that. You'll be there. And next one is the lime kiln. Next one in order, which means we need to get charcoal out here as well. So you will enter from like so. Um, warehouses are probably going to be needed extensively down here. We're going to need a, a lot of storage. Tremendous amount of lime and charcoal goes into this guy. So let's put a nice space in between. Though that's a good clearing there. What's the other building? That is the lime works. Would you fit really well right there? Turn you a little bit like so. So you're aiming down into that that path as well. No, oops, didn't mean to do that. Go away. I want the kiln in between. There's only one tree, to, one or two trees to take out to make that work. We're running, right? Yeah. So kiln is next. You're going to be there. Rotate you around. Your entrance is there. And kind of shaping you parallel to the shoreline. So you're about there. Uh, the last bench is done. And then we're going to go in with the lime works. Rotate you around. Parallel again with the shoreline, about like so, and you can be right in there. That's three trees to take down. Um, actually, you can be kind of right in front of. Wish I remembered what the other one looks like as far as what this blue zone is. Do I line you there or do I line you there? Don't know. Leave a walking path in between and set you there. Okay, so you're running. Don't need to deal with you anymore. Um, let's think about more charcoal in this area, which is going to be fed from here. So best to make it up in this area rather than down in here. I'll make it here and cart it over. I think that's I think that's wiser. So we have you there. Grab me a charcoal pit. What are they called? Charcoal pile. Uh, right there. So space-wise, this feels right. What does it take to make that happen? Okay, uneven terrain, but you do rotate that way, which is really odd. It's symmetrical, yet it isn't. <laughs> okay, so somewhere in here, I would love to aim you to the path. So we're going to have a path coming down in front of all of this. It's going to come in between here. That's a bench. So if I put you like that... Okay, there is no spot here that works. If I get into here... There is a spot. That's not bad. Boy, it's finicky. It's going to be right there. Alright, we'll do that one. And then let's grab another one of those. Now I finally have a, a reason to deal with these on a much more, you know, a more quantity basis. Um, you fit right there. Can I give you a little touch of rotation? A little touch. All right, right there. Space uh, in between? I guess not. <laughs> I, I accidentally clicked, so that's where he lives. All right, two of you guys in there. I'll figure out the order after the episode's done. Um, so a warehouse needs to go down in here somewhere. Anything I'm missing up there? Not really. Trees are coming down. And, oh, oh, the trades. Okay. What's happening? Did the salt, export salt, is still on its way in. You are export salt. Oh, multiples are coming in to export salt. Okay. In the trader, salt. 2801 and 2801. It is here. Okay, it made it. And I take it that last one we saw is just about to enter the map. Have we ever seen them suddenly appear or we just notice them afterward? We're running. There. Just appeared. Okay. So you guys are coming to get the salt and the salt did work and that was a temporary order. It'll go away afterward. Okay. We'll make that work. Okay, so warehouse down here for what? 
We're going to want to store limestone, so we need stone storage. We're going to need charcoal storage. We're going to need... Quick lime and water, so we're going to need the lime coming out of here. And you're going to make what quantity of lime? So gather charcoal by layers of 3,000 and limestones of 5,000 and 3,000 and 5,000 and 3,000 and 5,000. Total of three layers of each. And then you burn it and it makes quick lime is used in lime works. Okay, so makes quick lime. And then this guy, uh, after firing the, the lime kiln finished, get a batch of quick lime. In order to further to be further used, it needs to be slaked in water to produce lime. So that's the process. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if you were to pop back into that uh, Primitive Technologies website or uh, YouTube channel that I posted last time, he did something like that as well from scratch. I think he used uh, snail shells as his source rather than limestone. So he created something like that too. He's dealt with, with pot ash. He's made... Uh, um, fire bricks as compared to regular bricks there's a lot that he has done from nature kind of like these folks are doing anyway um I'll tell you what i'm going to call it here i will figure out where the stone storage and and uh regular warehouses should be in here and and just take my time and think it through but we've laid out future orchards we've laid out future industry and we're starting to fill up the bridge building materials. Next time we'll lay out some more houses and think more about the farm, wherever that's going to end up. I think it's over here and maybe we can go a season or two without it. And let's work on this group for a while. Then we'll start getting the sheep and the other farms going. I don't think it's a, that big of a rush just yet. We made it last year with this population and nobody ran out of food. So I think we're okay. And we've never had this much come in all at once before. Cattle. 24. So they've already added it. I wonder if that comes in real time. Because the other ones don't happen until after it's over. So we'll see if there's more than 24 when we check next time. Okay. But with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. And I'll try to get another episode out the next day as well but if i if i miss a day here and there don't worry about it i'm still alive <laughs> but things are getting busy around here and uh they'll happen when they happen thanks for watching folks Bye bye